Hi, I'm Luca Congedo, and in this tutorial we're going to see the tools available in the Benset tab. Here, the Benset that is available from the SCP menu. Here we have the main interface, as you can see in the left menu here, the Benset. The Benset tool allows to define the main input of several tools. But first, we can see that uh, for every tool there is this tab Help, where we can see that uh, after a while the help from the user manual will be loaded in this interface. So this is, can be quite uh, handy and useful to read the user manual while in the SCP tool. So coming back to the tool here, in this table we are going to define uh, the Benset, in the Benset definition here. The Benset are numbered, as you can see here, as active Benset, number one, and the Bensets are used in several tools and it will be uh, the input. We can set uh, also several options, such as the date of the band set, the root directory, which is used for defining a path, a root path for the input bands. As you can see here, no raster is loaded in QJS. Here in the layers is empty. What we can do, for instance, is uh, uh, load uh, raster bands directly from the directory. So using this button here, open a file, we select uh, a directory containing raster bands, which are Copernicus Sentinel-2 bands. And as you can see, all the list of bands is loaded in this table, the name of the band. On the left band set table, you can see the uh, first band name that is uh, listed here as the first band set. Still, uh, no raster is loaded in QJS. And this is the first band set, uh, active band set one. Here we have the list of bands. In this table, we can also uh, define the center wavelength. As you can see, uh, we can select, for instance, the first band and clicking, we can enter a center wavelength. Uh, but more practically, we can select uh, uh, from the band quick settings here, the wavelength from this menu here, you can see a list of available satellites. And for instance, we can select Sentinel-2. And as you can see, the center wavelength is automatically defined here in the table. We have also other fields, such as multiplicative factor and the additive factor. We have also the wavelength unit and the path of the raster band. Also, we have the date field that we can define here. As you can see, for now, it is uh, not defined. We can define the date using this menu here, this calendar. We can set our uh, date of this image. For instance, uh, this image was acquired in 2023. was acquired the 10th of September 2023. So we can select it. And as you can see here, the date is defined for this band set one. This can be used in several tools, for instance, in band calc, and we are going to see this uh, later. Also, we can define a band set from the bands uh, already loaded in QJS. As you can see here, I've loaded uh, several bands in QJS. And we can define uh, here a new band set, the band set two, we can use these buttons here. For instance, this button adds a new band set. This button removes a band set. This other button sorts the band sets. We can also sort the bands uh, manually. And we can define RGB composite. So with this button here, we can create a new band set. As you can see here, the band set 2 now is empty. And we can use this button here to load uh, bands, raster bands already loaded in QJS. As you can see, this window opens. We can manually select bands, or we can use this button to select all the bands loaded in QJS. And after we click OK, as you can see, we have uh, defined the band set with all these bands. So now we have band set one and band set two. We can also use these buttons here to sort the bands in the band set. We can, for instance, move this band down. 
or use this other button to move it up. And we have also this button here to sort the bands using uh, the, the name. So sorting the band by the ending number of the band, as you can see here. Of course, it is uh, quite handy to use the band quick settings and the web length. We can also load a text file, uh, which is, uh, for instance, a CSV file of uh, center wavelength. For instance, in, in this file, I've already set a few quite random uh, values, just for example. And we can use this button here to uh, open this text file. As you can see, a txt or CSV file. And we can select this file with the list of bands. And as you can see, the center wavelength is uh, defined according to the text file. We can also use this button here to delete uh, any bands from the table, as you can see here. And we can also use uh, uh, this other button to clear all the bands in the table. And clicking yes, we have uh, completely removed all the bands from the table. So the band set 2 is now empty. We can, for instance, uh, add uh, again all the bands to the band set. As you can see here, this button. So we can set the center wavelength from the band quick settings here. We can also import and export a band set from a text file. So for instance, we can export this band set here, in this window, and we set the band set 2. So we can, for instance, create a new band set 3 and use this other button to import the previously saved band set here. And as you can see, the band set 3 is now a copy of the band set 2. So we have imported the band set bands, and as you can see, we have the same bands in band set 2 and band set 3. We can, for instance, remove this band set 2 with this button here. And now we have just uh, another band set with band set 1 and band set 2 defined here. You can notice that this band set 2 doesn't have the date defined here. So we can click this button, date. As we have seen previously, we can select the date. For instance, this image was acquired the 12th of February 2023. And now we have band set 1 and band set 2 defined with the date. And now here in the band calc tool, we can enter an expression using uh, one of the available functions. Here, uh, the function for band sets here. This function allows to select uh, band sets based on their number or, or date. We can enter here a range of dates for instance, uh, from the 1st of January 2023 to the 31 of July 2023. You can refresh here the list of available bands. You can see here all the variables from the raster loading QJS to the band set bands. And here we can enter any of the variable that is referred to the band set. Here, for instance, this one. And also we can enter an expression that refers to the band set uh, web length, such as the NDVI function here. As you can see here, the function allows the selection of the near infrared, the red bands. This will allow for the calculation of the NDVI for every band set that is uh, selected in the range we defined. And we can also enter here the output name that will be different for every calculation using this variable here, band set. So we click run and select an output. And here the process starts. And after a while, you can see here the output. This is the NDVI calculated for the band set, as you can see here the name. Of the first band and this is the band set uh, 2 as you can see here which was identified by the date 
because it was in the range between the 1st of January to the 31 of July, and this band set was excluded because outside of the range. From these buttons here, you can use, for instance, this button to display the RGB color composite of selected band sets from the band set table here. So we can select all the band sets. As you can see, they are highlighted in blue. And we click this button here. The virtual band set has been added to the map here. The virtual band set one and the virtual band set two. As you can see here, corresponding band sets. We can also use these buttons here to sort the band sets in the band set table. Here, this button to move uh, highlighted band set uh, upward or downward. As you can see here, moving this band set from one to band set two here. As you can see, we are moving this band set that previously was band set two, now it is band set one. And this can be useful to organize the band sets. Also, we can use this button here to sort automatically band sets by date. And finally, we can have a look at the band set tools. We have several tools that can be run on the active band set. We can, for instance, create a virtual raster of the band set which is different from the temporary virtual rasters that we have created previously. We can uh, actually create a virtual raster file. Also, we can create a raster of uh, the band sets, so stacking bands. We can also build band overviews for a faster display. And we can also execute a band calc expression, which we can use to automate the calculation where we are creating new band sets. So for instance, we can select one or multiple tools. So for instance, create a virtual raster and build band overview. Then we click run here and we select an output directory, for instance here. And as you can see, a virtual raster has been created here in this directory. And we can, for instance, load it in QJS. So this was a brief overview of the band set tools. We can, of course, add uh, other band sets. And we'll see in other tutorials how to use these band sets in the available tools for processing such as classification. Thank you for watching.